Hi folks, it's Andy. Welcome to this episode of Kendo Video Feedback. So here we are for another episode of Kendo Video Feedback. In these videos, basically, I take some footage that you wonderful channel viewers have sent in to me. We watch it together, I give you some feedback, and hopefully, hopefully, everybody learns something. Uh, we're gonna jump to the video in just a minute. We've just got one submission today. Um, we're gonna look at it in just a second, but before we do, don't forget, like, share, subscribe, enable notifications, and leave a comment using the word Kendo. They are the necessary steps to take in order to grow the Kendo population by utilizing YouTube's crack team of ninja robots. They go out and find people who are about to start Kendo and get them to start Kendo, all right? We're aiming for two billion people starting Kendo by the end of the year. Um, I'm sure that's gonna happen. Uh, we got something close to that last year. It was like eight million or something, which is basically the same number. Uh, and then, um, and, and, and that's how we do it, all right? Um, I'm pretty sure that's how it works. YouTube haven't confirmed it. I must add that caveat. They haven't told me that's exactly it, but they haven't told me it's not how it is, okay? So, by sort of process of elimination, it means that that's how it works, right? Okay, so, <laughs> before we jump to the video though, there's one more very important thing we have to talk about, and that is kendostar.com. Kendostar.com is the best Kendo equipment website in the galaxy, universe, world, earth, stratosphere, multisphere, megasphere, every sphere, everywhere, all the time, everywhere, all at once, everything, the best Kendostar is as Yoda would say, all right? Now, of course, I would say that because I own the place, but but that's how you support this channel. If you like these videos, if you like the other videos that I do, I've got a new video coming out very soon explaining Tsuba ZDI with reference to the current provisional rules and everything. It's coming very, very soon. If you like all this stuff, it's all free. There's no subscriptions. Don't charge for subtitles, none of that stuff, all right? All you have to do to support it is shop at kendostar.com, all right? And the best thing about that is Kendo Star's the best. So it's win-win, you know? You get the best equipment, you get the best service, we're a proper established brand specifically for you. All right, you're gonna shop with us anyway. Don't go and buy at one of the fakes or the pretenders. Shouldn't use the word fake, should I? I'll get in trouble. Well, <laughs> don't, you, don't go and shop with the pretenders uh, and then end up coming to buy with us anyway. Shop, shop right first time round. All right, and shop at kendostar.com. Right, let's have a quick look at this video. So, I'm quite happy to receive the submission. This is from um, uh, from somebody um, from Colorado, uh, who I met whilst I was over there um, doing the wonderful seminar in Buena Vista. If you haven't seen that, by the way, Miyuki and I went to, uh, to, to Colorado, we went to the USA, and we did a seminar over there, and it was amazing. And there's a video about it on this channel. So after you finish watching this, search Kendo Star USA or something like that. And uh, you can watch the sort of vlog type video we did of going there, it was super fun. Um, so, uh, he says that uh, it's a bit late, but I wanna send my video, uh, one of my Nabashima Cup matches. Uh, this is the same event uh, the uh, okay, uh, I'm trying. I'm trying to keep it semi-anonymous, right? So anyway, I received a uh, second queue last year. So during the time of this match, I was third queue. Even if you can't make another Kendo Vice video before we compete in our first team Taikai next weekend, I still want to put it in the queue. Okay, I'm not sure if I made it in time. Maybe if I did, I hope so. Uh, but anyway, here's the footage. Let's have a look. All right, let's have a look. It's just one match, so let's see. You're on the left, and let's. Have a look at how he got. Okay, very good. What a great, what a great gym. Okay, right, look, first off, first thing I'm gonna say is good for me gummy. All right, good for me gummy. You just got a uh, second cue, did you say? Um, so, you know, at your level, that, that's really good uh, for me gummy, all right? It's, it's well timed, all right? Now, what I will say though, is that this kind of massive swing men strike, super ineffective in the CI, all right? Super ineffective in the CI, it's super easy to see coming, all right? So that's the first thing I'm gonna say. 
Second thing I'm going to say is it looks to me from here that your hips are slightly turned sort of open. Yeah, with your right hip slightly in front of the left hip. And what that's mean, that's, what that's going to mean is when you actually strike, you're going to turn slightly as you strike and you're not going to necessarily, like if it ends, if you both hit at the same time, you're probably going to lose that situation. All right, so just be aware of that. Okay, so this is, this is a good time strike. But well, didn't, didn't quite reach, right? Didn't quite reach. I would have liked to have seen that Fumikomi that you did in your first one. This time your Fumikomi was kind of on the spot, I think. Yeah, so you, you didn't manage to launch yourself forward quite enough, so it looks a little bit short. I mean, it's it's kind of reaching, but if it had been a bit a bit further forward, you'd have probably got a nicer pop from the men, and uh, you'd, have, you'd have probably been more likely to get the Ippon. I think your Kamai is good. Um, your your Kamai is good, actually. Overall, just again, I just say on that hips, these don't seem fully square. Yeah. Let me have a look at this. Yeah, see, that's why he's got you there. You see, so. Again, this is this is partly because you've made such a large swing with the shinai. And I tell you what hasn't helped you as well here is this action here with the shinai where you start going round and round with it like that. You, you want to keep it on the middle as much as you can. You, you, you can take it off to, to sort of, you know, like apply pressure, but you don't want to do it like as a kind of like this. It wants to be center, center and like kind of staggered or like, you know, sudden rather than this way because what's happened here you've gone da, da, da. oh no now i've got a hit and you brought it all the way back here and as you're coming back that's when his hits got in all right so um it needs to be more compact yeah yeah i think you hit at the good time i think you hit at the good time but because of the because you can see how far the shinai came back see how far it came back here like this in general, in general, you don't want to bring the tip of the shinai by, behind your fist, all right? Okay, you don't want it to come behind your fist if you can help it, all right? Um, your opponent has managed to, this is probably bigger than it needs to be, but it's still like at least level. It's not quite behind, whereas yours is clearly behind, all right? So even though you hit a really good time, it's a split second uh, late because of that reason. Be good. So I can see you see your footwork as well. Your left foot's pointed out slightly, and that's connected to this this these hips being open. Yeah. Think about trying to point your left heel more straight and your hips will probably line up more. That was a good chance, good chance, but there's what you want to do here. Okay, you want to, you wanted to turn, all right, and then go backwards, so you still got your eyes on them, yeah? You don't want to go off with your, with your back to them if you can help it, okay? Good, 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 good. Continuous attacks. That's good. Like to see that. Oh, that, now look, right. I like what you did. I like what you did in terms of the idea, right? As an idea, it works. The execution didn't quite come off for you, all right? Again. Here's why, right? The swing's too big. And the main thing about men nuki all right? Obviously, you missed a bit as well. <laughs> but let's just forget that, right? Because that's not the big issue, right? The big issue is you got to hit on the men, right? So um, the issue is, right, is that you see, as you've hit, you're going for this hit, your feet are still in the same position, right? 
Now, this is really hard for me to describe over the video, but I want you to go and look at the kata. Now, kata number seven, which is, I know is like, it's, you know, at the sort of early Q, sorry, late Q, early Dan level, you don't really need to study it. But if you have a look at how the footwork works for that kata, as you swing, you step out and you're, so in other words, you're not square on to the person as you make the strike. So as you swing, you're starting to move this way, bam, bam, this way. So even if they hit, it's gonna miss. That's why it's Nikki Door, all right? So there's a there's a little bit of study needed there, all right, on that waza. You made the right choice of waza, all right? I think it was a good, it was good choice of waza to go for men Nikki Door. You just need to improve the technical uh, execution of that specific technique. Because you do that technique, it's like, it's super cool. And you definitely get a bond, yeah as long as you hit the door. Uh, but, <laughs> uh, but you need to get the footwork locked in, yeah? So it, it's like the right foot goes out as you swing the shinai and almost the left foot comes up as you make the strike. Pam, pam, this, this sort of way. It's not for me, Fumikomi, it's not for me, Fumikomi. You do, do, you do do it with Sudiyashi, all right? But look, um, good shiai, good shiai. Um, regardless of the result, result isn't, that important? I mean, it is. I know. I understand it is. All right, but that isn't what I'm that worried about. Uh, I think the contents of the match itself are pretty good. The the times that you're trying to hit are good. We just need to sharpen up those technical executions, those those techniques. All right. So uh, by that it means you know um, sharpen up the footwork, get the left foot straight straightened up a little bit so we can get our hips straight. Not pulling the shinai back, and I think it's a little bit too much right hand coming in. That's why you tend to pull the shinai back this way. All right. Try to push forward with the left hand. Push forward with the left hand, all right? Um, and uh, try to, you know, if you want to use the shinai to faint, don't, don't like, make it a continuous thing. It needs to be sudden. Sa, 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 pa, pa, sort of thing. Do you know what I mean? Try to get them to go, oh, oh, this way. And then you can hit. Um, and then with your nuki door, again, it's about the footwork, all right? I think it's great that you tried the waza and I'd like you to keep trying it. Not necessarily always in Shi'ai, but give it a, you know, give it a crack in Jigeko. Um, see if you can figure out the timing and the footwork. It's super hard waza, right? So you're going to fail at it and, and just let that, let that be what it is. So don't worry about that. Um, we'll just crack on with it, you know. Um, but great, it's great to see you Kendo again. Uh, I'm really happy about that. I hope we can practice again with each other uh, in, in the future. Um, I'm looking forward to that day. And thank you very much for sending in the video. If anyone else would like to send in a submission for this show, all you have to do is upload it to YouTube, um, probably put it to unlisted, or you can put it to public if you like, but don't put it to private. I can't see it if you put it to private. Um, and send me the link at mail at kendostar.com and I will make a video just like this. I've made every single one that's been sent to me so far. I've never skipped one. So feel free. <laughs> Thanks a lot. Uh, thank you very much for joining me today. Couldn't decide what I was going to say there. I sort of smidged them together. Uh, <laughs> Thanks a lot for joining me today. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, shop at Kendall Star, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.